So these four questions are kind of similar, right? And here is my hint or a suggestion to do these problems. The first one, if sine A equals to 0 0.25, then find possible sides of the right triangles. It's kind of an open question. So what we can do is we can just make a triangle here, a right triangle. And when we say that sine A is 0.25, it means what? It means that the ratio of opposite side to the hypotenuse is 0.25. So let's say this angle is A for us. Let's say this angle is A for us, right? So opposite side is this. It is 0.25, then this side is 1. What we can do is find possible sides. We can write this as 25 and we can write this as 100. And we can always find the third side from here. 100 square minus 25 square square root, like that. There are many different solutions. One could be like this, right? So that is a good strategy. Whenever you are given ratios, the trigonometric ratios, just make a triangle and write down the ratios. If tan C equals to 2 and hypotenuse is 3.5, determine the dimensions of the triangle. Now this triangle is a very specific one because we are given you the hypotenuse. Do you see that? It is not a general triangle as was in question 6. So let's draw a triangle here and say well tan C is equals to 2.0. That means that the ratio of these two sides is 2 is to 1. So you can write this as 2x and this x, x. Correct. And hypotenuse is 3.5 and this is 3.5. Now you can write down 2x whole square plus x square is equals to 3.5 whole square and solve for it. So that is one way of doing it. The other way is, you know tan C is equals to 2. So we are assuming this to be angle C, right? So in this case this. So the other is, we can find what angle C is. So we can say angle C is equals to tan inverse of 2.0. So we get angle C. Now once we get angle C and we know the hypotenuse is 3.5, that then we can use sine and cosine to find opposite and the adjacent side, correct? So that is the way which you are expected to do for right triangles using trigonometry, okay? So apply the second strategy to solve your question. Question 8. If the opposites, if the side opposite to vertex A in a right triangle is one third of the adjacent side. So that means, again, let's draw a triangle. And side opposite is one third. That means this, this is one, this is three. It's like, this is easy to represent, right? Avoid fractions. If the side opposite to vertex A in a right triangle is one third of adjacent side, find the measure of angle A. That means tan A is 1 over 3, right? So angle A equals to tan inverse of 1 over 3. So that gives you the answer, right? Question 9. The hypotenuse of a right triangle is 20 meter long. How long is the side adjacent to 25 degrees angle? That means here we are given a triangle here where hypotenuse is 20 meters. So this is 20 for us. How long is the side adjacent to 25 degrees angle? Let's say this is 25 degrees, correct? Then what is the side? So what should you use? Cos of 25, right? So you know cosine of 25 degrees should be equals to 20 over x, right? So from here you can always find the value of x. I hope that is clear. Okay? Thank you and all the best.